Hey guys, your girl Lady Vintage Bags here and this is my final luxury birthday unboxing. Now you guys know I was supposed to have a low buy luxury year and this is my first lot of luxury bags for 2024. So let's see what I got. Okay, the bags are already open guys because you know this is unboxing number two now. Unboxing number one was over here. So if you haven't seen that, pause this video here and watch that unboxing first because this is my second luxury birthday handbag. One, two, three. Oh, bag's upside down. Ooh, okay, let's take off the bubble wrap. Careful. Oh. Are you ready? Ooh, check her out. Okay, I'm gonna take off the bubble wrap here as well. Don't you get scared when you do this because you think you're gonna cut the bag by accident? Let me know in the comment section if you know what I'm talking about. Same as when you're opening the bag or the box and you're slicing it and you're like, oh my God, I better not cut the bag. Oh, one last part. Okay, there we go. Ooh, okay. Let's give this lever a sniff. Oh, oh, I just put some lipstick on there. Just wipe that off there. Oh, she smells good. She smells good. Okay, let's do an Autumn Beckman style spin. If you know what I'm talking about, if you watch Autumn Beckman, type Autumn into the comment section. So this is the front of the bag. This is the side. This is the back. That's the bottom with the feet. Don't we all love a bag with feet? Here's the front with the sangles and the Tourette. We also have a clochette inside the clochette or the key bell are a set of keys okay so there's the interior that is a completely leather lined interior inside i have a strap little bitty clasp look at them look at these tiny little clasps i'm gonna actually put the strap on Got these tiny little rings here that the class fit on. This can't be the original strap. This is, that's not the original strap. I'm gonna have to bring this up with the seller. Because it said with strap, but it didn't say not original strap. Because this is like a box leather, and then this looks like this looks like a PU pebbled strap. I'm gonna have to bring this up with the seller. So inside we have one slip pocket. So the slip pocket is like a fabric interior. And then there's the zipper pocket. And that's also like a fabric interior. But the main compartment is leather lined. that if an ad says comes with a strap you would expect them to declare it if it's not the original strap can you guys see that box leather not box leather i mean this just looks like any random strap that you can get on whatever amazon sheen whatever look i'm gonna have to message them because that is not what was it said with strap. Let me just look at the ad again. Oh, okay. It said shoulder strap is external. Okay, I didn't realize that meant aftermarket shoulder strap. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Guys, would you have understood that? Shoulder strap is external, meaning it's aftermarket strap. Okay, lesson learnt. They did declare it. I just didn't understand the wording that they used. Okay, that's my bad. A little bit disappointing because there was a, I guess, communication misunderstanding there. Guys, if you see shoulder strap external, it means aftermarket strap. Lesson learnt. 
Okay, well, there's nothing I can do about that because I did declare it. And it's not a horrible match. Let's carry on, shall we? The padlock. Okay, so the padlock has like, a, it's wrapped in leather and it has a B for the hardware. It's my key. Whoop, there we go, opened. Now, where can I hang my padlock? Maybe I'll just hang it off the strap for now. Maybe I'll just hang it there for now. Guys, I feel so silly. Oh, I thought I was getting an original strap, but I'm not. It did say shoulder strap external. Oh, do you ever have those moments where you're like, oh my God, I didn't realize. Now, what I really like about this bag is that the top handle here is not misshapen. Sometimes you'll find them on the pre-loved market and they'll be skewed to one side like this. But this one has pretty good shape. It is slightly skewed to one side, but not terribly skewed, mostly straight. So let's talk dimensions. So the bottom here is at 22 and a half centimeters or 8.86 inches. The height is 18.5 centimeters or 7.28 inches. And the depth is eight centimeters or 3.15 inches. The strap drop for the top handle is about 11 centimeters or four and a half inches. Now I'm not gonna do the strap drop on the longer strap cause it's an aftermarket one. So it doesn't really count. So let's take a look at some mod shots. So this is the bag top handle. This is a bag as a long shoulder bag. And this is a bag crossbody. Okay, so let's talk price. I want you to guess how much I paid for this bag. So I'll give you a moment, pause this video and type your guess into the comment section in US dollars because I paid in US dollars. Okay, so I paid 300 US dollars for this plus I had to pay 10% tax or so an extra $30. So that worked out to be 330 US dollars all up, which is approximately equal to 500 Australian dollars. Now, actually that wasn't the original listed price of the bag. So this I bought from the same seller as birthday bag number one. After buying this bag using the best price offer function, I wanted to do the same thing with this bag. However, this one did not have the best price offer function turned on. So I ended up eBay messaging the seller and saying, Hey, I just bought this bag. Can I please send through an offer of 250 US dollars? Unfortunately, they rejected my offer, but they did counter offer with 300 US dollars. The original listing price was 330, meaning that gave me a 30 US dollar or 10% discount that covers my Australian 10% tax. So I pretty much got this without having to pay the 10% tax. So even if there's no best price offer function, you can still send through an eBay message with an offer. At the very worst, they'll just ignore you. And then you'll have to pay full price if you wanna go ahead. But you know, you can always give it a go. Okay, so why did I buy this particular style? So I think it's pretty obvious. This is my vintage luxury alternative at a reasonable price to the Hermes Vintage mini Kelly bag. Now you guys are very familiar with the Hermes modern mini Kelly, also known as a mini Kelly too, but that is a different shape to the Hermes vintage mini Kelly. As you can see here, the handle shape is slightly different. And this bag is more of an alternative to that vintage mini Kelly. And as you guys know, I'm Lady Vintage Bag. I love vintage designer handbags. That's why I found an alternative to the vintage one. So it is a little bit bigger. That's a 20 centimeter along the bottom. And this is a 22 and a half centimeter along the bottom. But that means I just can carry more things more comfortably. I'm not like a tiny, tiny bag person. I do have a few small bags, but I mostly don't like to go all tiny bags. Now those Hermes vintage mini Kellys, they're on the pre-love markets for upwards of like $20,000. And that is just not anything that's realistic for me to spend. But 330 US dollars or 500 Australian dollars, that is more inside my realistic budget. Now, one thing that's really important for us to address is Hermes is not the only brand offering beautiful, well-crafted leather bags. So if you want something that's leather and well-crafted, Hermes is not something you have to aspire to. You can go to other luxury brands like Bali and get a vintage bag that is great leather, great craftsmanship, at a more reasonable price tag. Hermes do not own 
the Kelly shade or the Sengle and Tourette design elements. Even though those things are synonymous with Hermes, they do not own it. And many brands in the past had their own version of what's like a Kelly design. Look at vintage Celine, look at vintage Gucci, look at vintage Lettera de Paris and vintage Bali or Bali, however you want to pronounce it as well. So if you like that design, you can go and find other great luxury brands that can offer vintage bags at much more realistic price points for you. So don't sleep on Bali bags, check them out. Now, actually I will be doing a more in-depth comparison between this and the vintage mini Kelly 20 as well. So keep an eye out for that comparison video. Now let's do a quick comparison of both of my Bali birthday bags. So here they are from the front. They both have the Sengles and Tourette. This one has the top handle, clochette, padlock, and keys. This one does not come with any clochette padlock and keys. They both have feet. The red one has a back pocket, the black one does not. And this one's about 21 centimeters and this one's about 22 and a half centimeters. Let's compare their mod shots. So this is what they both look like from the front. So this is what they both look like on the shoulder, it's a shoulder bag. And this is what they both look like as a crossbody bag. So you can see my aftermarket strap on the black one is way too long for me. I'm probably gonna swap that out for a different strap. Now you guys would probably like me and you've heard of the Bali brand and seen their bags, but you don't really know much about the brand itself. So when I looked them up, I discovered they're actually a Swiss brand and they've been around since the 1850s. They've been around as long as Hermes and Louis Vuitton and they're even older than Chanel. So I would definitely consider them a heritage brand. And even though they're more well known for making beautiful leather shoes, they also make beautiful leather handbags. So if you're someone who's looking for a different brand to try out, one that's great leather, one that's got good craftsmanship and a reasonable price on the pre-love market, definitely check out Bally Bags. Now let's see if my handbag organizer is gonna fit in there. So the closest size handbag organizer I have actually belongs to this vintage Chanel Series Zero lambskin bag. And this is about a 23 centimeter bag, about the same size as the Chanel small flap. And that's what I've got in here. This is a Zumoni handbag organizer that I was gifted. And this belongs to a Chanel small flap. Now, if you haven't already seen my Zumoni triple unboxing handbag organizer and try on video, I'll leave that here. So we'll see how this 23 centimeter handbag organizer fits in this 22 and a half centimeter bag. Okay, not bad, this fits pretty well. Okay, so it's just a bit fatter here now, but yeah, that can definitely work. So if I need a handbag organizer, there you go. You know, I don't even, I'm not even sure if I'm gonna use a handbag organizer with this because it's so well structured already. I don't know, maybe I won't. Or maybe I should to keep the shape. I don't know, let me know, what do you think? Should I keep a handbag organizer in here? Like people with Kellys, I often hear them say, oh, they eat, to keep the shape or keep it from sagging, they store it laying down or they have a handbag organizer in there. If you guys are experienced with it, let me know. Should I use a handbag organizer and should I keep it and store it with a handbag organizer in there? Okay guys, so give me your honest, honest, honest opinions. What do you think of my two vintage Bali Kelly style birthday bags. So here I paid 143 US dollars or about 215 Australian dollars. And here I paid 330 US dollars or about 500 Australian dollars. So total is about 473 US dollars or about 700 Australian dollars. Jeez, the Australian dollar is not very strong, is it? So what do you think? I paid a good price, I paid a bad price. Do you think I got good bags? Do you think I got crap bags that are totally not your style and you never buy them? Let me know what you think. And tell me, what do you think of me having these as my realistically priced alternatives to the Hermes Mini Kelly 20 and the Hermes Mini Kelly 20 with the long shoulder strap? Tell me, do you think I'm dreaming and delusional or do you agree that these are really great realistic alternatives? Now, if you guys haven't already watched my unboxing for this bag, I'll leave this video here. And if you haven't already seen my other birthday haul, which was a Chanel inspired TK Maxx shopping spree, I'll leave that video here. 